a submission, a choke, or a finish by ground and pound. But the ground and pound here does not permit strikes to the head from the guy in the top position. Now, if you are on the bottom position, so if you're mounted, you can strike up to your opponent's head. Gives it a little bit of a different flavor to what you're used to. But remember, they're only allowed 30 seconds on the ground. So these rules are designed for continuous, fast-paced action. You haven't got time to take your opponent down, control him, set up a submission, change position, pass the guard. You've got to react pretty quickly and get something done or the referee's going to stand you up. Nice low kick there from Ruar. His back is as wide as a car. So, Mitko Ilyev, just on the back foot there, trying to work. Whoa, that was a huge right hand. Nice left hook from Ilyev. He's just getting his range. Very sharp. The Frenchman, though, looks very calm, setting up a big bomb by the looks of it. Feeling it out with that lead hand. He's going to throw a big right very soon. Looking at a counter left hook there. Nice low kick there from Ilyev. Spinning back kick to the body as well. He must be growing in confidence with these strikes as they're landing. Neither fighter looking for a takedown. And remember, although this is mixed martial arts rules, they are three minute rounds. And you could possibly say that uh, mixed martial arts with five minute rounds favored the grappler. That was a lovely right hand again from Miliev. He's focused. The Frenchman there stalking him down, looking to find his range. But Mitko Ilyev is very, very dangerous with these punches. I think he's wary of the power of uh, Kevin Rouar. There was a left hook again. And nobody, nice low kick, nobody wants to get caught with these small gloves. Both guys looking very sharp. Right hand there. Right hand to the body there from Ilyev. Nice knee from Ruar, in close. This fight is on tender hooks. It could go either way. Nobody wants to get in that clinch. Mitko Ilyev there having to reset himself. A little bit scrappy. Rouar perhaps looking for a takedown here, but too late. That's the end of the first round. And an interesting one to have to score. Getting it just distracted there by our gorgeous ring girl and that fantastic BMW motorcycle, one of our sponsors here at Century 16. But back to the action. And I have to say, even though Kevin Rouar was coming forward and looked to be the aggressor, it was actually Mitko Ilyev who landed the, landed the crisper, more damaging shots. So on my card, at the end of the first round, I'm going to give it to Mitko Ilyev from Bulgaria. So that's one round to Bulgaria. France has got it all to do as we come out for the second round of our first KWU Open Contest. Senchi's version of mixed martial arts here in Varna, Bulgaria. A real world-class setup and a world-class fight card for everyone this evening watching. So this is intriguing. This rule set really does change a fighter's game plan. It steers the guys more into a stand-up battle which is what the crowd want to see. A 
Nice low kick there to the lower leg of Rua from Itko, Mitko Ilyev. And Rua returns one of his own. <laughs> and Ilyev returns another one. Oh, those are big punches from uh, Ilyev. If one of those lands on the button. There we go, a li nice left hook again. And Rua still stalking his opponent. But we've seen this a few times tonight, guys, coming forward, coming forward. There's that midsection reverse spinning kick again. And Ilyev's very good at getting out of the way of those punches. There's that, oh, and another right, left and right, left and right again from Ilyev. He is very dangerous. Ilyev has been here once before on the Senshi stage, winning by way of TKO. Kevin Roa making his Senshi debut. Both these guys have got great MMA credentials. Nice uppercut there from Rua as Ilyev comes in on with his head down and a right hand there. And a right hand back from Ilyev. Rua is the 2019 European beatdown champion and the Brave Combat Federation champion currently Mitko Ilyev, he's a kickboxing and Kakashenkai champion. So his stand-up credentials cannot be questioned. But possibly at this stage, as we approach the end of the second round, Mitko Ilyev is starting to breathe. And is tiring. Whereas Rua looks as fresh as a daisy or as fresh as when the fight started. There's a lovely right hand as the bell goes. So, I would still give that second round, well, by the skin of his teeth, I think Mitko Ilyev won that second round by the cleaner shots again and more damaging punches. Um, Kevin Rua is still coming forward but he's not landing enough. He's got it all to do in this third and final round. But Mitko Ilyev went back to his corner there at the end of the second round, a tired man. And combat sports is one activity that once your gas tank is empty and there's nowhere to run, it's a very, very difficult game, let me tell you indeed. But we have seen guys who their gas tank runs out and they pull something out of the bag somewhere. So you can't write anyone off. Not until that final bell goes. So, Mitko Ilyev, he's had an, a minute to recover in between rounds. This is the third and final round. Kevin Rua, I'd like to have heard his corner G him up and say, listen, you've got it all to do. Your opponent is tired. Ooh. Left hook attempt. Spinning back fist. Rua shook his head. But if one of those lands on the button, there's that left hook again. Mitko Ilyev, he eats a left hand himself. Changes stance, inside low kick. Nice right hand from Ilyev. As they clinch, the referee Jan Sukup will allow them 10 seconds and then break them up. I don't think either guy wants to go to the ground. Well, yep. 
Oh, that was... Uh... Well, Ruart took the fight to the ground there and Ilyev almost took his back. So they pop back up and the fight continues as it has done for the last two and a half rounds on the feet. Not much spring now in either fighter's step. They're both flat-footed. There's a minute left. That was a nice right hand there from Ruar. But it's, he's throwing single shots. Single kick there. Single jab. Uppercut. I'd like to see some combinations. There, that was better. Two punches. And Mitko Ilyev, he's the, he's the one with the more variety of techniques. The count as well. There was a nice right hand from Ruar. This final round is a difficult one to score. Nice elbows. They were damaging. And they would have caught. There's a spinning back fist from... Uh, Mitko Ilyev, not landing though. I'm sure those elbows would have caught the judges' eyes. Both guys are landing. Ilyev is tired. And at the end of three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards once again. A very entertaining contest. Three minute rounds. And the rules designed to keep the action flowing, which I think it did. There's that takedown from the Frenchman. But rather than have his back taken, he pops back up to his feet. Nice right hand from Ruar in this replay. And again. I'd be tempted to sway in the favour of Kevin Ruar for that third and final round. But on my card, I would have to go two rounds to one in favor of Bulgaria, Mitko Ilyev. But I'm not an official judge. Don't listen to me. Let's hear the official decision. Here we go. I'm on the edge of my seat. This is Ladies very and interesting. We have a winner. Judge one scores the fight 28 29. Judge two scores the fight 28 28. Judge three scores the fight 28 29. For the winner, by majority decision in the blue corner, Mitko Ilyev from Bulgaria. A majority decision. I think that's fair. Mitko Ilyev from Bulgaria. Victorious in his second outing here at Senshi. I'm sure we're going to see him again. But by no means did Kevin Ruar give a lackluster performance. He was coming forward the whole three rounds. And once again, it's styles that make fights. You're only as good as the guy in front of you will allow you to be. And I like that. I like the rule set here. So we're just about Coming up to halfway through the evening, 13 world-class contests, three rule sets here at Senshi. K1 kickboxing, Muay Thai and MMA. Three of the most brutal, yet most entertaining combat sports on the planet. Put together here by martial artists, for martial artists.